Last week, we showed you the Aral Sea, a body of water similar to the Great Salt Lake that over the last 60 years has shrunk to about a tenth of its original size. Take a look at this time lapse from 1984 to 2023. You can see the massive change in water levels. There we go. You see it there. This is all taking place because of poor water management, rising salt levels and siphoning water off of feeding tributaries. And because of that, the brine shrimp population in the RLC is flourishing. But as Fox 13 News reporter Spencer Joseph has uncovered in coordination with the Great Salt Lake Collaborative, the two lakes are facing related issues. The Aral Sea, an ecosystem under threat. What was once the world's fourth largest lake has dwindled from 26,000 square miles to only about a thousand. The lake straddles the border between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. In 2005, Kazakhstan cut the lake in two with a dam, helping to preserve their side. But on the other side of the border, the water levels have continued to drop and the salt level has risen higher and higher. As the sun rises over western Uzbekistan, Mirabek Merzamuratov is already hard at work, gathering tiny brine shrimp eggs floating in the water. <laughs> The lake was once fresh water, but as the water levels dropped, it turned salty, perfect for brine shrimp. That brought much needed jobs into the community. But just like Utah, brine shrimp here are under threat. At a nearby camp of brine fishers, Islam Tenelov laid out the issue. The reason? Rising salt levels. Here in Utah, we face similar problems. In 2022, the Great Salt Lake dipped so low, the water became too salty for even brine shrimp to survive. It was a threat to an industry worth up to $67 million. Around 40% of the world's brine shrimp comes from the Great Salt Lake. And it's an industry that Tim Hawks, general counsel for the Great Salt Lake Brine Shrimp Cooperative, wants to protect. But the reality is if you don't have the Great Salt Lake or if you don't have salinity in the right ranges, we don't have an industry and we don't have a future here. In 2022, Utah saved the crustaceans by sealing a breach in the railroad causeway that divides the lake, something John Luft, program manager for the Great Salt Lake Ecosystem Program, illustrates. You have basically two different lakes. Um, so the north arm uh, is way too saline for uh, brine shrimp to uh, reproduce and survive, really, and it's at uh, saturation at about 27%. That made it easier to manage the salt content and fix the issue, saving the brine shrimp eggs harvested to feed seafood. Over 50% of the uh, shrimp that people consume are grown in these aquaculture industries. And what uh, those uh, shrimp that we would eat uh, need is uh, a live food. So without the Great Salt Lake, seafood we eat would become scarce. Scientists say the Aral Sea will soon become too salty for brine shrimp to survive. And with no fixing the sea, scientists in Uzbekistan are working on another solution. In the city of Nukas, Abladi Musef is researching how to farm brine shrimp in small ponds. An innovative approach, but bottom line, scientists say small ponds like this could never replace the amount that the Great Salt Lake produces. Still, scientist Patrick Sorgalos says with the world's rising food needs and the stress on salt lakes around the world, production of brine shrimp through aquaculture will grow exponentially in the coming decades. Uh, our Western world, uh, including Utah, we should be anticipating what are the opportunities to look into alternative uh, solution. Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.